This is number one from the 2022 sixth grade math star test. And I'm going to be going over every single problem from that test. Number one says the tables show the relationship between X and Y for each of two data sets. Which statements describe the relationship between X and Y in each of the data sets? So to start off, I'm gonna take a look at data set number one. And if I'm just looking at this table, I'm noticing that um, each X value is being multiplied by four to get the Y value. So I'm just gonna make a note over here that um, this table is times four every single time. Over on data set two, I'm gonna do the same process. And this time I noticed that every X value is having four added to it to get the Y value. So I'm gonna write plus four all the way across. And then I'm also gonna write plus four to the side um, just so that I don't forget. So once I start looking at the answer choices, letter A says both data sets show additive relationships. Well, that's not true because the first data set um, is multiplying, it's not adding, so that's not gonna be correct. Letter B says both data sets show multiplicative relationships or multiplying, and that's not true. The second data set is adding. Letter C says data set one shows a multiplicative relationship in which Y is four times X. That sounds good. And it also says data set two shows an additive relationship in which Y is four more than X. And that is also true. So my correct answer is letter C. Number two from the 2022 sixth grade math star test. It says, which expression is equivalent to 12 plus six all divided by two? So in order to work this problem, I have to know that um, the two numbers in the numerator have to be added before I divide by two. So if I add 12 and six, I'm gonna get 18. And then if I divide that by two, I'm gonna get nine. So I need to find the answer choice that's equal to nine. So starting with letter F, I have to use order of operations. So inside the parentheses, 12 plus six is equal to 18, and then divided by two is equal to nine. So I'm thinking that's probably gonna be my right answer. Letter G, again, we have to use order of operations. So we have to do six divided by two first, then we add to 12. So six divided by two is three, plus 12 is 15. So that's definitely not gonna be it. Letter H, we have to divide 12 by two first, and that's gonna give us six. Then whenever we add six more, that's going to give us 12. So that's also not gonna be correct. And then finally, letter J, we have to add two plus six to get eight. Then we can divide 12 divided by eight. Um, we can reduce that down to six over four and then three over two, which obviously is not equal to nine. So our correct answer is letter F. Number three from the 2022 sixth grade math star test. It says, Emmeline earns 650 for each hour of work as a babysitter. How much will she earn for working 5.5 hours as a babysitter? So if she's earning 650 an hour, all we need to do is multiply 650 times 5.5 to get the amount of money she's going to earn. So just to make it a little bit easier, I'm just gonna change 6.50 to 6.5, and I'm gonna multiply that by 5.5. And once I do that, I should get 35.75, which is letter B. Number four from the 2022 sixth grade math star test. The bases of a trapezoid are eight centimeters and 12 centimeters, and the height is H centimeters. Which equation can be used to represent A, the area of the trapezoid in square centimeters? So if you're not sure what the formula is for area of a trapezoid, we can just check our reference sheet, which you will have on the star test. And whenever we look at that, we're going to see that the area of a trapezoid is equal to one half times parentheses, base one plus base two times height. So going back to our problem, I'm gonna write that formula down and I'm just gonna plug in everything that I know. So I'm gonna write down one half times parentheses, eight plus 12, and then times H because we don't know what the height is. But if we look at our answer choices, we don't even have to work this out. Um, that's all that this question is asking for, so we can pick letter F. Number five from the 2022 sixth grade math star test. It says, use the ruler provided to measure the dimensions of the triangle to the nearest quarter inch. Which measurement is closest to the area of the triangle in square inches? So if I check my reference sheet, 
I know that the area of a triangle is equal to one half times base times height. So once I use my ruler to measure the sides, I'm gonna see that my base is equal to one and one fourth inch or one and a quarter. And my height is equal to one and a half inches. So once I plug that into my formula, I'm gonna have one half times one and one fourth times one and a half. And if I go ahead and change my fractions to improper fractions, it's gonna make it a lot easier to multiply. So one and one fourth is gonna become five over four and one and a half is gonna become three over two. Now to multiply, I just have to multiply all the numerators and then all the denominators. So that's going to give me one times five is five times three is 15 and then two times four is eight times two is 16. So my answer is going to be 15 over 16.